All right, so we're on location. My buddy's house has got the, the heritage. So we're wrenching. Well, he's wrenched so far. I'm drinking beer. But it's got his bags off. Not sure what he, what socket he used. But uh, let's see. I think he's got a, about a half inch drive to get him off these studs off to the side. Assuming half inch on that one, but. The... Okay, I don't know where we left off because apparently my battery decided to die, but. We're getting his fender here off because there was a bit of an incident last year before he blew up his knee that uh, they managed to MacGyver fix it on the road. Literally so, hooked it back in. Yeah, yeah, they punted it with uh, what a size 12 motivator? 13. 13 motivator. So, gonna get this out of here. We're gonna replace his big ass ugly boat anchor tail light system my opinion not his he likes that thing with my takeoff from the street glide we're just gonna drop the plate here he's got a beehive or not beehive a tombstone tail light that's gonna go on keep the uh, top plate set up and we're gonna put on the advan six inch stretch mm -hmm. the six inch stretch fender on here I'm not sold that we're gonna get this done today he thinks he will uh, time and beers will tell, but uh, we've got it set up out here. Figure we'll get to you while we got some actual daylight instead of trying to do it if fluorescent. But there it is. I mean, you can see six inch stretch, you know, it's not full on like, you know, douchebagger style, but not terrible. And it's not the French, it is pre drilled for his uh, blinkers and his tombstone so you know we'll give that a whirl in, in typical you know advent fashion it's it's a good paint job not really picking up on any orange peel or anything for those wondering it is just abs but it is stout so even the inside looks decent the holes are clean so i'm gonna let him well, not that i'm letting him but he's gonna keep spinning wrenches so we're not gonna have a whole lot of here's what size you need for this that or the other but we'll check in periodically throughout the process and hopefully we can figure out the wiring to go to this from that. So wish us luck. I'll All right, so got her skirt off. So it's a lot skinnier. So I just stood at his way, drank his beer and you know, so we got some support brackets back here that I know of. I'm not sure where he stashed them. So there's these. They fit, you know, behind the fender, like through the fender and into here, similar to that. Pop those out, roll it back. He didn't loosen the little support brackets in here. I would have, but you know, his bike, I think we might still loosen them before we roll the new fender in. Just, you know, hedge our bets, make sure we don't screw up the new one going in, but we still got wiring to figure out, but it's better and it definitely, Looks skinnier, but the old fender here. Oh, which side was it? I think it's this side here. Yeah. All right, all right here. Yeah, you you can kind of see. Hopefully, you can see that chip paint, the wrinkle. This thing got rear-ended by what was it? A Tahoe. Tahoe. Yeah. So between a Tahoe and a size 13 boot, it's worked for about a year. So that's where we're at now. Electrical and new fender and maybe test ride. So I mean, anywhere between 30 and 30 minutes and six hours away. In so in that range, we, we got a little window. So pressing onward. Uh, All right, so we've hit a hiccup. We're calling it quits for the night. Uh, our fancy new tombstone here from Lowbrow. Uh, not a huge deal breaker, but our mounter, mounting holes here are a little bit taller than how our fender is pre-drilled here. Again, not the end of the world, but extra holes. You know, we would have to drill another hole a little bit higher here to to make it all fit, which is doable. But you know, our our curves are a little off, so might look at getting our hands on. Uh, an OE deluxe tail light setup. I mean, I'm not sure, not my bike, not my call, but 
We're gonna hit pause on this now. Does anybody have one for sale? Yeah, if anybody, anybody out there has uh, an OE Deluxe Tombstone Light with light bar, let me know. I got a guy that might be interested. Uh, but, so like I said, we're gonna hit pause. We're gonna get the bike back together the way it was. Because uh, he wants to get out on a ride, and he's in the middle of finagling the uh, boat anchor. So, a little anticlimactic for everyone. My apologies, but trust me, this is only round one. There will be at least one, if not 32 other rounds after this. This will happen. He's off to Sturgis in August, so it will be done and functional walking before right. then. <laughs> So, uh, walking without a cane, right? sorry, you don't get to see the finished product, but stay tuned. There will be a finished product on this. This bike, this heritage will have a stretch fender with a tombstone and a good looking light bar behind it. So questions, comments, concerns. Again, if you've got, uh, one of these tail light setups on hand, you want to offload or know somebody who does, I know a guy, let me know, hit me up. So that's all I've got. If you would hit the button, do the thing. I super appreciate it to everybody out there. So until then, we'll catch y'all next time. Later.